Hello everybody. Hey family. This is April with the TLP Gardening Channel and I just wanted to bring y'all out here real quick. Um, I had time management in the garden on my mind. Um, lately I've been really busy. I haven't even been posting as much as I want to post because we know that gardening goes on regardless but to garden and to be a content creator has a, another element to it. Um, but I just want to show y'all what I was going to do to kind of space my time out good, use my time wisely, and just prep my area for the planting. Now, I could, you know, with my limited time, if I prepped my storage container, which I'm going to show you that I'm going to plant in, prep that, uh, put the soil together, put my <clears throat> compost in there, my food scraps, uh, and then planted seeds or transplanted or whatever, the time that I have either wouldn't be, uh, I would have to stop in the middle of it, or if I would procrastinate and say, oh, I'll do this tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day, I'd miss other opportunities. Like tomorrow we're supposed to get a good rain, and I want my soil, I would rather my soil get the rain water than to get my treated water out of my faucet. So, you know, those are things that you have to think about when it comes to time management and what you're doing in your garden and how you pace yourself. All right, now I want to show y'all what I'm doing in my storage bin. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just had to turn my camera around. All right. So this is what we got here, y'all. I uh, have seen other gardeners talk about composting in place. Not many now. But there is one particular garden, content creator that I saw that I, I love it because... I'm gonna be honest with you. It's it's I'll call it the lazy way and the and the the time conserving way. I don't own a compost bin. What I do is I put my food scraps in a little container, which I'm gonna get me a good container from. I think I got a link from Target uh, to get like a food scrap container so it doesn't look all yucky on my counter. But if you look in here, I've got. Uh, toilet paper rolls, which y'all know you can you can use paper, you know, to compost. Got some of them got a little bit of paper still left. I've got orange peels. Now, there are some people that say don't do citrus because the worms. I I, I don't know if they don't digest that or consume that as well. But then I've also seen people put that in there. That's just that's not a thick skin orange. That's uh, one of those little bitty baby oranges with the easy peel skin. So I, I'm not gonna worry about it. It should break down. I've got avocado uh, skins in here. Y'all know those are eggshells. I've got onion peels, banana peels, um, the tops of zucchini. Let's see what else I got in here. Just all kinds of good stuff. Um, I think I got the the like little pieces of, of Brussels sprout in here. And whatever I, I could put, you know, you don't put any... Uh, for those who may not know, you don't put any, uh, dairy in here, you don't put any, uh, actual, I guess, meat in here, or actual bones. You can put bone meal in your soil, but not actual bones, because you don't want certain rodents to come. All these things will be covered up. Oh, and I also have coffee grounds in here. You can't tell that, but there's coffee grounds in here. And what I'm doing is preparing this bin. Like I said, I want this to get that rainwater. And I don't have time. I have my child that has a, a after-school activity um, that he needs to go through in the next few minutes. But I wanted to get this done before I lose my daylight and uh, not to make him late. So, you know, TLP, the Little People's Gardening Channel, we talk about time not being too little um and this is just a way that you can save some time all right i'm gonna fill it up and then i'll bring y'all back i can get off all right guys <clears throat> so I, I topped it off uh with the rest of the soil and now i'm gonna tell you what i did i made a boo-boo so i have my organic potting mix that i normally use but i accidentally bought look at that all-purpose garden soil so what I topped it off with was garden soil. It's not all the way filled. I'm going to fill it up some more. At the bottom is the potting mix. And I just added some fertilizer, even though, because I know y'all are saying, well, that stuff is going to take a long time to break down, even though you got all that organic matter. matter. So I just, I gave it some garden tone, okay? Um, 
to help that out. And I think I'm going to get another bag of the right stuff, my potty mix. However, it'll still get wet. The organic manner will get wet and get that good rainwater. Um, but I'm done. I've got to get ready to uh, deal with my, uh, these were my plant babies. Preparing for my plant babies. Now I got to get plant for my human babies. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Um, remember, your space is not too little. Your time is not too little. And your budget is not too little to do a big thing like gardening. And um, the point of this video was just when you feel like you don't have a lot of time. Um, composting in place is a good time saver. And y'all remember, if you watched my other video, I was serious about me wanting to make my own soil and save money on soil. So this is another way to kind of not have to use as much store-bought soil. All right, guys. Y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all again in the garden another time. Bye.